All right, welcome back to Total OS today, Total Operating Systems today, Total Technology for beginners and beyond and all that good stuff. Well, speaking of operating systems, Ubuntu Mate or Mate. I was actually going to do start my video series on my new uh, smartphone, the HTC One Max. Man, that's one big ass phone. But I've put that on hold because I've gone and I've gotten an unusual amount of notifications. <laughs> even on my new phone about the video I did, uh, Ubuntu Mate, yes, it is pronounced Mate, Ubuntu Mate 1504 review. Um, some of you, understandably so, if not all of you, but maybe not all of you, understandably so, calling Ubuntu Mate, Ubuntu Mate, like you see, like, hello, mate. I get it, I understand it, now personally, I love Ubuntu Mate version so much as a Windows dual booter. I don't, I wouldn't care what it was called. You call it Ubuntu cheeseburger, Ubuntu hot dog, Ubuntu calamari. Uh, to me, if something works the way I want it to, then what's in the name, right? But that being said, it is not pronounced mate. It's perfectly fine however you would like to pronounce this wonderful desktop environment which is what I use now, currently, at least for this recording. If you go to mate.desktop.org or mate, spelled mate.desktop.org, this will give you a brief introduction here. Basically, it says the mate desktop environment is a continuation of GNOME 2. It, it provides an intuitive and attractive desktop environment. Basically, something like this is terrific for new users coming to Linux. Very easy to use. It's not fancy, but it works. But the, but the most important thing here, if you scroll down all the way to the bottom, this is where I found out on how supposedly the developers came up with the Ubuntu Mate or Mate desktop. So where does the name come from? Well, it doesn't come from cheeseburgers, obviously. It says the name Mate pronounced Mate comes from the Yerba, Yerba Mate, a species of holly native to subtropical South America. Its leaves, its leaves contain caffeine and are used to make infusions in a beverage called Mate. Personally, I think it sounds delicious. I wouldn't mind trying some of this. But for all of you who are telling me, understandably and respectfully, so that telling me that I'm, I am saying it wrong, I am not, according to this developer's website. Once again, I really don't care what it's called because it works. Not to take anything away from the developers because this is a terrific desktop environment for Linux but it's not pronounced mate. Now, sometimes I will call it Ubuntu mate, but it's really pronounced mate. And, 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 and to give the respect that it's due to the developers, I think I should probably pronounce it the way it was meant to be pronounced, although the developers probably wouldn't care one way or the other since I use it and I promote what they have created. So that being said, thank you for all of your comments, but it is not pronounced mate according to the, the, according to the desktop. So there you have it. Uh, many, many, my phone, my notifications on my phone has been blowing up the last two days with the correct pronunciation of Ubuntu mate or Ubuntu mate. It's a terrific desktop environment. If you haven't already, Check it out. There are different flavors of this. There's, of course, the Linux Mint version of Mate. I use Ubuntu. Both are fine. Anyway, check it out if you haven't already. This is something that you might like in conjunction with using your whatever Windows operating system that you use. All right. Well, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and listening. I'm going back to my ginormous Ubuntu One Max. Yeah, Ubuntu One Max. Yeah, don't I wish. I'm going back to my HTC One Max phone and play with that some more. I'll have a series of um, reviews on that phone. The phone is really bigger than I needed it to be, but it has a big screen. It's easy to look at, and I wear contacts, so my eyes are not what they use, what they would use, what they are used. 
to be. I think I said that right. Anyway, I'm done. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, one last thing. Someone asked more than one uh, question what kind of recording I use. I usually use Kazam. Uh, there are other types of recorders that I use. Uh, let's see. Sometimes I use um, Vocal Screen down here. I use Simple Screen Recorder. And I think there's one more that I can't. Is it on my list? I can't remember. Um, oh, yeah. Screen Studio. But normally use Kazam. So for those of you who asked uh, what kind of recorder I use for Linux, it's uh, usually Kazam. All right, well, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Please post your comments in below. Don't yell at me if you don't like the word mate. I didn't create it.